Whether you're serving up a bunch of food over the holidays or even a simple family meal, you know it's all about those side dishes. So I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious, creamiest mashed potatoes of all time. And I'm gonna spike it with some roasted garlic. It's gonna be insanely delicious. I know this may seem goofy to you that we're making mashed potatoes, but there's a right way to do it, to make sure they're creamy and delicious and fluffy and perfect for any meal. So to start, Comey's, this one's for you. We're gonna make some garlic confit, and confit, of course, means cooked in its own fat. So go ahead and add a pot right to the cooktop, pour in some olive oil in between a cup and a cup and a half. And next, I've got a half cup of garlic cloves. The ends have been trimmed off. Pour that in there. We're gonna cook it over low heat. It's gonna take in between 20 and 25 minutes. We want the garlic to be tender, browned, but we don't want it to have like a hard outside shell to it where it's completely caramelized. We still need it to be soft. So while the garlic confit is cooking, we got plenty of time to peel and quarter up some golden Yukon potatoes. They've got a little bit higher sugar content, not as much as a red or new potato, but the flavor's awesome, and I just think they're better for mashed potatoes than maybe a russet potato. So peel them up. Once those are peeled, I simply quarter them or give them a rough chop. We're gonna add them to a large pot of water. And of course, I said garlic mashed potatoes, so we're gonna add even more trimmed garlic cloves to the pot with the water and the potatoes. And no matter what I'm boiling, I'm always gonna season it up with salt. The water should taste like the ocean. It should season those potatoes. Sprinkle that in there. Head over to the cooktop. We're gonna crank up the heat to in between high and medium. We want to bring it to a low boil. After about four or five minutes in this cooking process, I'm gonna add one more thing to the burner. I know I've got a lot going on here, but I was always taught when making mashed potatoes, 50% potatoes, 50% fat. And I still hold by that today because that's what makes the most delicious, creamiest mashed potatoes of all time. So in the back burner, in the little corner there, I'm gonna hit it with a little pot. I'm gonna pour in some heavy whipping cream, a couple sticks of unsalted butter. We just want to keep this warm. There's no use in pouring in a bunch of cold ingredients to hot potatoes. So after about five more minutes or so, let's take a look at everything. The garlic is in perfect shape. Like I said, nice and tender, a little bit brown, just like I told you it needed to be. We wanna strain the olive oil, set it to the side. So go ahead and run it through a fine mesh strainer or a regular strainer, whatever you've got. And we're gonna set this to the side. And here's a beautiful trick, my friends. You just made roasted garlic olive oil. Can you imagine what that would be amazing in? Not only are we gonna put it in these mashed potatoes, cooking off a steak, some chicken, a salad, a roasted garlic vinaigrette for a salad. Dude, this stuff is gonna go a long way. Remember, it's all about those little fundamental things that help you make anything from homemade, from scratch, it just tastes better. I always keep telling you, you guys. So now head over and check out those potatoes. The best way to know that they are finished is by using a fork. If you stab it, you can pull it up and the potato falls right off. We are in good shape. Or perhaps if you put a fork through it and the potatoes start to break apart and sort of crumble, this is exactly where you wanna be. If you overcook potatoes, they'll start to sort of mush and mash in the pot alone. That's bad. Honestly, you won't be able to throw all that cream and butter we want to put in there to enhance the flavors of it. You might be in trouble there if you get to that point. So keep an eye on it. I'm thinking maybe 10, 12, 15 minutes max in that water while on the cooktop. So strain it, I'm gonna bring it over to where my countertop is. I've got two bowls here, I'm gonna set it in there. In the other bowl, you're probably looking, what is that thing? That is a food mill. Making them perfectly soft and mashed. So scoop a few of the potatoes at a time, put them in there, crank that hand, crank that soldier boy. <laughs> and then after about half the potatoes have been mashed, I'm gonna add a few more. And at this point, I'm gonna add in those roasted garlic cloves to run through that food mill. Keep turning that crank. Usually scrape the bottom of the food mill just to make sure I've got all the mashed potatoes off here. And now it's time to start adding in all of our fat now that it's mashed. Pour in that cream and butter mixture. Next, I'm gonna drizzle in some of that roasted garlic olive oil that we cooked with, a bit of sour cream. 
Finish it up with sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. We're gonna go ahead and mix this by hand with that rubber spatula until combined. And if you notice that the potatoes have sort of sucked up all of the fat and the cream, go ahead and add a little bit more. I didn't use all of that cream and butter mixture the first time I poured it in for this exact reason. You don't ever really know until you start mixing everything together how much the potatoes can take. And at this point, you better try some because they're absolutely delicious. And if it needs more seasoning, hit it with more salt and pepper. I always say, season once, taste twice. Taste it, season it, taste it. Try saying that 10 times fast. Now that we're at this point, we're gonna plate this beauty up. Simply gonna pour it into a bowl. And then using the back side of a spoon, I'm gonna sort of make little potato channels and funnel it all the way to the top. I know this is gonna look crazy, but there's a reason for it. Because now what I'm gonna do is pour on some unsalted melted butter and it's gonna follow that channel all the way down and give a little bit extra fat and love all to these mashed potatoes. Then sprinkle on some chopped chives and you've got yourself the most delicious roasted garlic, creamy mashed Yukon potatoes of all time. They're fantastic, and you should definitely use them as a side dish to my chicken cacciatore recipe, so I'll catch you on that video.